Okay, so to keep my videos not being so incredibly long and for people to stay on the topics that are relevant to them, this is the second video about what I want to talk with you about your health. And I was given this information about the demise of people with the genetic disorders that are coming. And there's a lot of reasons that genetic disorders are coming and being diagnosed for people. And people want to know how does one such as myself um, live in remission from an autoimmune disorder aside from the herbal treatments that I have, that I've taken, that I take all the time. The other thing that is incredibly important is if you have lost yourself, you need to regain who you are. And sometimes, and when I say lost yourself, you may have things that you have regressed, you have put down within you, you have hidden within you, you have internalized. And that energy is inside of you and your body is attacking the energy. So the autoimmune disorder is actually a spiritual response to a foreign energy that you are not supposed to have in your body. So that means, let's just take what happened with me. I was fully engrossed in a relationship and I was fully engrossed in that person's health and their situation and trying to fix them and their situation and completely repressing all of the things that I needed for myself. I really was lost in that situation, completely lost in that situation. And all of a sudden, now mind you, start with, because of there's somebody else again, having their nose where it doesn't belong, somebody you shouldn't be watching this video. This is your sign that this video is not for you, somebody. All right, if it's not for you, stop watching the video, okay? Let other people who is for watch the video. You don't need to watch just to have a negative comment. Stop watching the video. Okay, for the rest of you who are interested in exploring the spiritual nature of your dis-ease in your body, understand what was going on with me. I had autoimmune disorder from, at least from what I can gather, my early teens, well, late teens. I knew I had an autoimmune disorder. Actually, I knew my immune system was different from other people. I didn't know why. I didn't know that it, there was an attunement that had taken place and that was an attunement to my spiritual and my physical that I didn't quite understand because other people would get sick around me and I would never get sick, right? My siblings would get diseases like the flu and stuff like that, the measles and chicken pots and all this kind of stuff, and I wouldn't get them, and we slept in the same room in the same bed. So that wasn't normal. And later on, I would have things happen, and I would get something, and yet I would not have the same symptoms as other people. So I'm a scientist. I knew, partially, partially at least, okay, my immune system is not the same as other people's, right? And this was... I was young, I was still learning, so I didn't quite have the information that I have today regarding the spiritual connection to my immune system because I was learning about spiritual stuff and health stuff and I was keeping them in silos, separate from each other, not realizing that they were connected. And today I know and understand and accept the connection. That being said, when I fast forward, in my 40s, prior to that, I had another immune situation happen. And that immune situation happened at a time when I was totally engrossed in another person, right? So, I mean, it's, it's putting all of my energy into that person and literally killing myself. That was literally what was going on the inside. So fast forward to in my 40s, when this situation is going on and out, I'm totally involved in that relationship and things and changing everything about me and all the things that I knew to be right. And I was angry about that, about the fact that I felt I had to do it, right? And that anger had to go somewhere. That anger was going inside of my body. One of the things I used to always do is I used to always walk. I used to run. I used to do things of that nature. I used to dance, all that kind of stuff. I was still doing that, but not to the same level that I was doing before. But I was really closed off like this. And I wasn't speaking my truth. And what happened? I 
end up having a blood clot form in my leg as I was living a more sedentary lifestyle also that traveled to my lungs, to my brain, and then all of a sudden I was not physically able to speak my truth correctly, along with other things, not being able to stand and all kinds of other stuff, fracturing my ankle, all kinds of other things, right? So I started speaking <laughs> my truth as when I got my voice or my words to be able to come out. I still have some connection that is not exactly the way it needs to be, but that's okay. I've learned to work around that. However, I had three, four months, somewhere around there of not working um, because I was in and out of the hospital or whatever. And I was able to start back focusing on my spiritual practices and connecting what was going on to me with the spiritual and the scientific, all of those portions. And I started verbalizing things that I had hidden and had suppressed. And in the process of me verbalizing and releasing those things, I was able to have my body get to a point to where my immune system wasn't attacking my organs on the same level. So that means my ANA, which is the test that they do when you have an autoimmune disorder, whereas it was positive and it was high, it became negative or normal, right? So that was something that occurred and that didn't happen in those four months. Let's stop there. That was in four months, I reconnected and started putting things into practice. But by 2019, that had happened so two years later I was in a negative state this is now 2024 I'm in a negative state so technically remission so I had to stop and connect the dots on my health and figure out that repressing those things who I was who I am what I had to say and putting my focus on everybody else in their situation was killing me and I had things that I wanted to say that I wasn't saying. Um, and I was angry with people about their actions and things that I felt that they had done against me. But I was being too polite not to really, you know, speak on those things. I'm a different person now. I do say things in love, but I make sure I don't hold things in. Because you hold that anger in, that energy is inside, that is foreign energy, not natural to your body and then your body is attacking it in the form of your organs and things of that nature okay now can that be reversed of course it can and i say this to those of you who are like myself you may have been diagnosed with lupus or another autoimmune disorder and you're trying to figure out why is it that your body would turn on your on itself now another part of that I also discovered I was eating things that I knew as a child not to eat. Because when I was a kid, I literally would go outside and eat the grass. I, I didn't eat a lot of things. I ate foods that I was forced to eat, but I didn't eat a lot of things because I didn't resonate with eating those things. And I know eating some of those things that are foreign to my body, my body attacks that, my body attacks the, the like genetically modified things, well, my body's like, what is this, right? I'm an ancient human being. I'm, I've reincarnated lots of times. My body is like, this isn't for you, right? And it attacks those things because those genetically modified foods have foreign particles and my body recognizes them as not really belonging to me. But it doesn't know exactly where they are. So it's like, I'm going to get rid of all this kind of stuff that's going on. Bam, I'm attacking. Bam, I'm attacking. You know, so... I want you guys to be aware that spiritually there are things that you may be repressing and repressing those things may be causing you to experience some of these autoimmune disorders and definitely the cancers that you're experiencing. And there are some people who've had vaginal cancers of, of sorts 
you've had too much sex with the wrong people, too much unprotected sex. You've taken in a lot of energy that doesn't belong there, okay? A period of celibacy is, is recommended for you in addition to some other cleanses and stuff. But most of the things that happen to us in the physical can be tied back to something in the spiritual realm that has occurred or not occurred, okay? So some people are like, yeah, um, I did some damage because I, I was, you know, I was smoking and I got lung cancer. Yeah, that's a physical thing that you did. You were smoking and you got lung cancer. But the question is, why were you smoking? What was the smoking doing for you? You became obese because you're eating. The question is, why are you eating? What is the food bring, giving you? What is the comfort there? You know, are you eating because you're hungry? Are you eating? Why? There's, you know, there's a reason. And most of the time, the reason is actually not physical. There are cases where they are that your hormones are not balanced. Even that leads to other spiritual things that have happened to cause a person's hormones to become unbalanced when they were balanced at a point. Or the consumption of foods that you're not supposed to be consuming, consumption of drugs that you're not supposed to be taking. And some people say, well, now that I've stopped consuming those foods, now that I've stopped taking those drugs, I haven't seen things change. Nothing happens overnight. You started taking drugs and consuming the foods and different things and you expect for, you stop two or three days, it to be all right. That's also why when people order my tea and they only want to order my tea in the form, oh, I'm going to try it, I'm going to just get a few. It's not. I know it's not really going to help them. That's why I suggest they get 30 so that they could get it in their system, right? No worries. I've been taking my teas for a long time and I drink my tea every single day. I drink one of them at least every day. So these are things that I tell people. It's like most stuff doesn't undo right away. There are some things that I do definitely change right away. But a lot of other things take more than one try. And you should know that about your life right? If you stop something today, you're not going to see the effects tomorrow completely. Sometimes you might, you know, if you stop eating sugar, then you're like, oh, I got a headache. Yeah, because your body's like, wait, where's that drug? Where's that chemical? Things of that nature. All right, that's it for this video. I'm going to go. I'll upload this video. This is regarding your health and the spiritual ties to it. So I'm Gaia Shaman, Dr. Fison, your intuitive healer. Until next time, be well. Bye.